testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. We are back. I need to put uh, some of this Tyson Fury nonsense to bed. So we're going to do one more episode, one more day on Tyson Fury. Uh, and then we are moving on to a different topic. But today's show, we'll still be back on Tyson Fury. Is he a top 10 heavyweight of all time? Where is he right there? Um, let's get into that. But first, please like and subscribe, share all forms of social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Um, also, Texas Boxing Scene, Texas Boxing Scene um, on YouTube. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, that channel, all proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. Uh, so please subscribe. That channel helps get that monetized up and running quickly. Brand new channel, completely dedicated to Texas Boxing. That's called Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. Uh, please subscribe to that channel as well. All right, guys, let's get into it. Um... All right, Tyson Fury. Is Fury a top 10 heavyweight of all time? No. N -n no, he's not. Um, and this needs to be put to bed. Um, he, he's not a top 10 heavyweight of all time. Uh, I, I don't know what, where this is coming from. I'm seeing reasonably intelligent people suggest this, um, and it's certainly not true. He's got one career title defense. He's been champion for, I don't know, three years between his two tenures. He's got one title defense. Wilder. Um, on top of that, he, what do we got? Uh, one top 10 heavyweight he's beaten in the last six years, two in his whole career. He's not, he's not a great heavyweight. He's not one of the great heavyweights of all time. He's not in top 10 discussion. Look, again, one title defense against Wilder. Um, and, and he's beaten one top 10 heavyweight in six years. Guys, he's beaten one top 15 heavyweight in six years. It's not an impressive resume, guys. I'm not taking away from Fury. He's a great fighter. He's 6'9". He can move. He used to move better when he was 260, but for 280 pounder, he still moves really well. Okay? He's not the best heavyweight out there today. Guys, this isn't close. That's Alexander Usyk. Look, Usyk outclassing Anthony Joshua over 12 rounds is more impressive than Fury going life and death with Wilder and stopping him in 11, okay? Usyk gave Joshua a boxing lesson. Fury, for as great as the fight was, and it was great, one of the great heavyweight fights of all time, wasn't as impressive as Usyk. Much more entertaining, yes. Much more impressive, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Like, like, like it, it's like saying Gaddy's better than Mayweather because Gaddy's more entertaining. It's like, guys, that performance that Wilder gave, uh, that Fury gave, is not better than the performance that Usyk gave. Simple and plain. And I like Fury. I picked Fury to beat Wilder three times. I said Wilder was six nine two sixty was a unicorn the way he could move. He doesn't move that well anymore at two eighty. I still think he's better at 260, 280. He's simply too big. Uh, for his own good, I, I I think you know there's a you know point of no return, right? Point, you know diminishing you know returns, uh, and he's reached that at 260. I I don't think 280 is the right size for him. I think 260 is. That being said, Usyk <laughs> in the last 12 months has beaten more top 10 heavyweights. Then Fury's beaten in the last six years. Think about that, guys. Look, he's got wins over Cesaro and Parker. I mean, Cesaro and Joshua. That's two wins over top 10 heavyweights. Okay, in 12 months. Um, Fury has won in six years. Wilder, okay? Now he's got two wins over him. But on top of that, he, Usyk has wins over uh, Michael Hunter. Tony Blue. Okay. Those guys were top 10 heavyweights at one point. Right? Um, Usyk doesn't have, I mean, Fury doesn't have it like that. He, I mean, he only fights once a year, really. 
I fought once this year, fought once last year. He's not going to fight again. And I'm not faulting him for that. Usyk really only fights once a year, too. I will see if that changes in 2022. Um, but to put Fury on that list now is ridiculous. Could he get there? Probably not top 10. Um, but potentially, right? If he beat Joshua, beat Usyk, you know, beat some of Jared Anderson's, um, Joe Joyce, Dubois, those guys on the way up. I don't know. Maybe. Um, but Usyk at 6'3", 220 is not too small as a heavyweight. Go back to yesterday's show. Uh, it's not too small. Um, Usyk has a better resume. He has a more impressive win. Being the unified champion in Joshua is more impressive the way he did it than the way Fury went life and death with Wilder. Guys, just because the fight was a more entertaining fight doesn't mean it was better. It wasn't better. Usyk's performance was clearly better. Clearly better. If Usyk fought Fury, Usyk dominates him. I don't think at, at this size, Fury can handle him. He'd get in and out on him, right? Like Teddy Atlas always says, catch him coming and going. You know, Usyk would catch him in, angle, work, come on out, make a miss. I think for that fight, Fury would have to come down and do 60. You'd have a 260-pound Fury, a 220-pound Usyk. It's a good fight. Again, Fury, Wilder, Joshua, good heavyweight. Very good heavyweight. Usyk, great fighter. Big difference. Big difference. Usyk beats all these guys. Usyk can clean out this division. Now, Usyk, again, he doesn't knock people out. That's a problem. So he could potentially, at some point, get caught. That could come from a Ruiz, that could come from a Luis Ortiz, that could come from a Daniel Dubois, that could come from any heavyweight who can hit, which is almost all of them, if not all of them. They can hit. They're big dudes. Um, and it's good. Like when, when, when Klitschko got knocked out by Corey Saunders or, or, or when Lewis got knocked out by Rockman, you're not going to expect it to happen. And it'd be kind of shocking when it does. But heavyweights get knocked out. And if you let guys continually go 12 rounds with you, You, you increase the odds, right? You go back to Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder one, when Fury had Freddie Roach in his corner, what was Freddie Roach telling him? Get him out. He can hurt him. Get him out. Knock him out. Don't don't play with him. The quicker you can get Deontay Wilder out, the less of a threat he is, right? And, and Usyk, as great as he is, I think he's absolutely amazing, doesn't knock people out. And that's going to be an issue at some point. You know, he, he, again, he can make nine, ten title defenses in a row, and then he gets caught because he didn't knock people out. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Look, I want to ask this question. Is Usyk a top 10 heavyweight of all time? If your answer is no, he's better than Fury. So Fury's not a top 10 heavyweight either. Let me know what you guys think. Um, please like and subscribe. Share it all from social media. Uh, 3D Boxing, blog comes at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news. Remember, again, this is going to be our last show on Fury. I had to address it. He's not a top 10 heavyweight. Uh, very good heavyweight. Not as good as Usyk. Usyk dominates him. Uh, please also subscribe to Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. Um, it is October 11th, 2021. Ivan Calderon is still not in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Let's make that change. Let's get the Iron Boy in. From Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.